Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. For today's project, I'm going to be doing a 3D frame. I hope you're all well and keeping safe at home. So for this project, I'm going to be using the Pink Ink Designs B stamp and I'm going to use my Versafine Onyx Black Ink to stamp the image onto my stamping card and I'm using my Tim Holtz platform to do this. I then ink up the wings and stamp them as well. I'm now going to use the multi-surface paint from Pink Ink Designs. This one is the Summer Sunrise and I'm going to use this to paint my box frame. Now this box frame I've had in my stash for quite a while and I think I got this one from Wilco's. I'm now using the Vintage Gold multi-surface paint and I'm going to use my brayer to roll this onto a piece of bubble wrap and I'm just placing this around the outside edge of my frame so it looks a little bit like honeycomb. I'm now going to use my Derwent Colour Soft Pencils to colour my B image. First of all, I'm going to use the Baby Blue pencil. I'm just going to show you how to sharpen it. So when you sharpen pencils, always turn the pencil sharpener rather than the pencil. The second one's not too important because it's just making the point longer. But when you're actually sharpening the the main part of the pencil always turn the pencil sharpener rather than the pencil this is so it doesn't break the lead inside the pencil so here I'm using my paper stumps which I'm just putting into a pencil holder so that they don't bend too much because my hands get quite hot and I'm using my sanding block just to get off all the color that I couldn't be bothered to get off last time I used them so I then, what am I doing next? I'm going to use my pencil blend, which you put a little bit into a pot with a piece of cut and dry. This is so you can put your paper stump onto that piece of cut and dry so it doesn't soak up loads and loads of liquid because if you stick your paper stump into the actual bottle it would just be like a sponge so the liquid will go all the way up your paper stump which you really don't want so here I am just colouring the light blue around the outside edge of the bee 
and I will then use my paper stump with the pencil blend on it just to smooth out the colour. Just to say that I do sell the pencil blend in my shop but this is a product I am unable to send through the post because it is deemed a harmful substance. So hopefully you can see here that using the pencil blend just smooths out the colour. I'm using my Faber-Cascal pit pen to go around the outside edges of the wings. This is so you don't have any harsh white edges. I then use my diamond stickles to go over the wings to give them a bit of sparkle. Once they have dried completely I then use my bone folder to give them a bit of shape and I'm going to use some sticks to foam pads and my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick the wings onto my bee.
I then use my acrylic glue again to stick the inside box frame part to the actual stamping card so that it doesn't slip while it's in the actual frame. And that is this project all finished. So I'm just showing you it here without the glass in so that it doesn't get um, a glare from it. And it's easier for me to take a photo of it now without the glass in again so it doesn't get a glare. But once I've done all that, I will then put the glass in place. If you would like to buy any of the products I've used in this video, they will be listed on my website blog post. I will leave a link in the description box below this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description box below or click on the end screen at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired. Bye for now. Stay safe.